as we get set for kickoff here, a few keys to the game for each team. For UW, it's all about who steps up tonight. The notable absences of some impressive seniors from last year's team. Three members of the 2019 squad have moved on to MLS. Blake Bodily joining the Portland Timbers and playing a bit with them last season as a homegrown player. And then just recently, Ethan Bartlow and Freddie Kleeman drafted in the first round to Houston and Austin FC, respectively. Just about ready to go here in Husky Stadium. We are underway for the 2021 season. As the Huskies go long to the left side, out of bat, not, not quite saved. And on the far side, it'll be Husky throw. Looking to get off to a fast start here, the Huskies. It's out for a goal kick. The Eagles, that's Titus Nixon, all-conference defender. Missed 2019, but uh, back in action in 2018. He joins a pretty solid and veteran back line for the Eagles, consisting of Leon Borman, Dylan Murphy, Jacob Moon, to name a few. As the first chance to see the Eagles in possession, they go wide and intercepted there. Huskies take possession. Back wide for Sailor. Sailor at center X swings it. One of the big keys for the Huskies tonight is coming out and dominating possession early, imposing their will on the game. This is the first meeting between these two teams, as we mentioned, the Eagles and NAIA program, who will be looking to play to the moment tonight. First time they've played a competitive match against an NCAA Division I opponent. And it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big one at that. The Huskies, a consistent contender in the Pac-12 conference after winning their third conference title last season. First chance for Sam Fowler, the goalkeeper from Mercer, from Issaquah, excuse me, on the ball as the Huskies swing it. Left side. Here they go, driving the ball through to the side. He's going to get there. Cross comes in. It's a good one just over the head of any jerseys in black. They keep possession. Right side ball. No, it's another good ball. Headed to the back post and just wide. First chance of the game for either team. Looked like Lucas Meek at the back stick there. Meek, really a breakout performer last season. The red shirt junior returns after six goals and seven assists last season. He never went multiple games in a row last season without recording a goal and an assist. Influential from the wing, wearing the captain's armband tonight for Washington. Misich now, left side, returning leading scorer for the Eagles as he gets away from one. The touch just beyond Ostrom and the Huskies get possession back. That's Burke swinging it to his center back partner, Sailor. As we said, Huskies will really look to establish possession early and impose their will on this game. As we said, they want to get off to a good start here in 2021 as they look to defend their Pac-12 title last season as right side Scardina inside. And it's broken up there, Missick. And he'll lose the ball right back to Christian Soto, another sophomore who will look to follow up an impressive freshman campaign for the Huskies. Comes left side, Meek beats one. Meek end line, crosses it in. Goalkeeper couldn't handle it, but it's cleared away. And whistle goes, looks like it was a foul indeed against the Eagles goalkeeper. That's Alexander Theahoff from Germany. Both of these teams, in fact, graduated their leading scores from last season. The Eagles lose Jordan Travis, leading the team with 12 goals. For the Huskies, the big name, Blake Bodily, also 12 goals, six assists last season. As we mentioned, headed to the Portland Timbers in MLS and played a bit at the end of last season. Huskies turn over hard football line. 
His ball in. Oh, it's a good one to the back post and just missed. There in the end by Soto. As it was a dangerous ball whipped in, the defense didn't track him, and two Huskies were there. Just couldn't quite connect for the finish as the throw goes out. Goal kick Eagles, who have weathered the storm, so to speak, through the first 15 or so minutes. But they haven't done much in the way of possession in the Huskies' half. The Huskies solid defensively last year. We mentioned Sam Fowler had only two opponents score multiple goals past him in his freshman season. That was Cal and Georgetown in the NCAA tournament later that season. Uh, his .66 uh, goals against average was exceptional for a freshman, obviously earning him all conference honors. But the back line in front of him, also lots of experience. They did lose Ethan Bartlow, as we mentioned, the MLS draft, but Saylor returning, as well as uh, Burks forming a solid center back partnership as they go again. Here is Meeks left side. Here comes Kendall Burks, plays it long towards Meeks and dealt with well, only as far as Rosales who drives. Rosales left side, comes inside. Oh, nice move between three defenders and well stopped again there by Nixon yet again as the Eagles play it out of pressure. That's a good turn there from Hahn, the captain for the Eagles. Key contributor in 2019 for Northwest University who We'll be looking to build on a bit of a middle of the pack season in their conference as they try to establish some possession here. Northwest University, not far away in Kirkland, Washington on the other side of Lake Washington. Enrollment about 1,400 and they were so a sm smaller school to say the least compared to the University of Washington. They've been playing men's soccer since 1996. Head coach Gary McIntosh, also the athletic director at Northwest University. And he is back for his 18th season. His counterpart on the University of Washington sideline, it's been 17 minutes and I'm a little bit surprised myself that I haven't actually uh, said much about this guy. Jamie Clark, head coach of the Washington Huskies in his 10th season. He is has really turned this program into an elite contender every single year. He's got an overall record with the Huskies of 116, 46, and 20. As we mentioned, that includes three Pac-12 titles, including uh, two uh, in the last 10 years, in 2019, 2013. And they have made trips to the NCAA tournament seven times in Clark's tenure. The Huskies consistently a threat to win the big dance. They haven't quite done it yet, but looking to, as we said, build on a record-breaking 17-4 and four season last year. Long ball headed away as the Huskies possess again. This is Sailor now. He comes wide for Lucas Meek. Richard Jr. from Mercer Island. He'll try to play all the way across. It's dealt with by Borman, who comes wide for Hop. Hop for the Eagles left side. Right side, excuse me. Back heel in a dangerous area and they get away with it, the Huskies. Meek turns and comes wide. Rosales. Rosales looking for Meek. They weren't quite on the same page and it'll be throw in Eagles. We mentioned Jamie 
Clark, head coach of the Huskies. The, they've only missed the NCAA tournament twice in his tenure. That was 2011 and 2015. Last season was the second time they've made it to the quarterfinals. That was a 2-1 loss to Georgetown in which they the Huskies led early. Um, couldn't quite hold on against the team that ended up winning the national championship, as it turned out, uh, in impressive fashion. Well done to dispossess there by the Huskies, and they'll swing it again. That was a Caso Rienzi at right back for the Huskies. Sailor. Soto dropping deep, and he will find Burks. Burks wide towards Sailor. That's a great turn there, and he goes wide to Meeks, who tried to go through his defender and couldn't quite as they play it out for another Husky throw. As Ostrom, Charlie Ostrom, a junior from Shoreline, just up the road here with the long throw. He'll play it and flicked away. Still there, didn't come all the way out, and a shot and a goal! Oh, what a hit by Christian Soto! The crosses kept coming from the Huskies, one of them was gonna pay off, and the ball fell kindly at the top of the box to Christian Soto, who starts out his sophomore campaign with a bang, 1-0 Huskies. And the long throw, a dangerous weapon for Washington last season. And they pick up right where they left off. Played all the way in, just as dangerous as a corner if you can do it. It was dealt with nicely at first, but not all the way away. And Soto just rang that one into the top corner. And the Eagles looking to respond here now. As that ball miscontrolled there by, that's Nixon. And he does end up playing it away, but only as far as Rosales. That was Ostrom, excuse me. Eagles again on the ball. Going long and headed away by Ryan Saylor. Meek left side. Meek cuts it back and finds Ostrom. He'll swing it wide, it's Soto now, the goal scorer. Swings it wide, Rosales. Rosales tried to cut it back and deflect it away. Nixon plays it forward towards Kyle Hahn and then Nixon, back to Nixon and he clears it all the way down into Husky territory as headed back to Sam Fowler who's had little to do. But a look to recycle possession here for Washington. 12 shutouts last season for Washington. It's the second year in a row with double-digit shutouts. And we mentioned the defense. That's a bit of a staple of a Jamie Clark team. They've had double-digit shutouts in six of his nine seasons as a head coach. And they've only recorded fewer than five shutouts just once in those nine seasons. We've talked quite a bit about Christian Soto. We haven't talked a lot about Imanol Rosales, another really, really talented freshman, now sophomore, fresh his freshman season. Each Christian Soto and Rosales made 20 appearances last year. The Huskies have not had plus games since 2007. So as we mentioned, a young team still for Washington, but not inexperienced. They returned plenty of game minutes from last season. Sailor comes outside. This is Caso Rienzi. Crowley swings it towards Sailor again. Sailor, an imposing figure at 6'4 on that back line. Meek. Back to Sailor and wide again to Caso Rienzi, a freshman from Berkeley. 
right side with Scardina wearing number 11. Nice move, cuts it back. Left footed ball, good dummy there, but not quite finding Meek on the left side. Fowler. And Sailor again. Comes wide, that's Ostrom. Costa Rienzi. And Soto again. They come left side here, and this is Ostrom looking to swing in a left footed ball. It's a good one. Oh, and Dioff got a hand on it. Should be out for a corner, and it is. And it'll be Rosales over it, the set piece specialist for Washington. Rosales with the right foot. Hand up, it's a good ball, headed in! Goal number two for the Huskies, and I believe that was Kendall Burks, the center back, getting up for it. It was a great delivery from Rosales, and Burks, no mistake on the header, back down where it came from. Well, we mentioned Ryan Saylor as an imposing figure on that back line. Kendall Burks, no slouch himself, 6-2. Burks, Rose, he had a free run at goal. And the header connected as the Huskies go up 2-0 in the 25th minute. Turned over here, and Meek will play it through. That's another good ball, and a great tackle there in the end to disrupt the danger, but Meek wins it back. Another tackle in there by the Eagles defense, and it's a corner again. The Huskies now smelling blood in the water. They are on the attack yet again. Corner number three for Washington. From this side, it's going to be Ostrom over it with the left foot. Ostrom plays it in all the way through and nobody could get on it. Comes out to the top of the box here. That's Crowley goes left side, Ostrom again. His ball in with the right and stretching there was Burks again. Couldn't quite get enough on it and it goes wide goal kick for the Eagles. Well, in the last two seasons, the Huskies have only lost three games when they score first. Last season, 16-2 and two in exhibition play, or at least in, in non-conference play, they've been even better. Free kick, Washington. Another chance to swing one in. And opposed to Rosales, it'll be the left-footed Ostrom over this one as the big bodies go forward for Washington. Ostrom's ball high floated into the area, flicked down. Still danger, still there, and cleared acrobatically up in the air. Still there for the Huskies as so Soto plays it into the back post. It's a free header off the bar. Did it go over the line? Referee says no. So close to a Husky third. As Theohoff may have gotten just a fingertip on it to tip it into the bar. That ball moved in slow motion but didn't quite make its way in. As the Huskies go right side, Rosales. Give and go here from Soto back to him. Throw in Huskies. Soto will hand it off for Kalani Kosa-Rienzi. Kalani short throw in, back to him. Good step in there from Hahn for the Eagles. 
And then Kalani wins it right back. Soto. Nice little ball inside, and the flick comes all the way to Rosales, who couldn't quite get enough behind it to really trouble Theohoff. Here is Borman, returning starter for the Eagles. Side, they go, and broken up again as Fowler is able to play it long on the ball back from Kendall Burks. Ball out of bounds, and it will be Eagles throw in. Borman will find a man, but it's broken up again by the Husky defense. Flicked on. Rosales chasing and headed away by Nixon. This is Gao. Left side for Hop. And he will come all the way over for Misick. Cuts inside. Well, Misick now plays it inside. That's Hahn. Kyle Hahn. A captain for these Eagles as Nixon Borman. First real spell of possession for Northwest, who are settling into the game a little bit, albeit being down 2-0, two nil, two nil, excuse me, here at Husky Stadium. Missick comes back to the right back, and his long ball, Meek got there, and he'll try to chase it down. As the Eagles are able to play it back to Theohoff, who will play it long? Intercepted there by, that's by Crowley. Ball pinballing around a little bit. And Burks will look to settle as he plays back to Fowler. That's Saylor. Ryan Saylor comes left side, Meek. Meek recycles possession to Ostrom. Rosales. All the way wide again for our second goal scorer, Kendall Burks. Rosales. And the Huskies beginning to settle things down again. Right side, Kalani Casarienzi. That's Scardina. Kalani back to Burks and Saylor. They go wide again for Ostrom. Ostrom comes inside, loses possession, only temporarily as the Huskies get it back. Sailor again. Sailor goes left side, Rosales. And the Huskies really starting to turn it on as far as dominating possession in this game. Nice flick there by Rosales. That's Crowley driving. Meek. Dancing against the defender, good move, and he gets to the end line, beats another. Still Meek and his, couldn't quite get the ball back across the six, but two nifty moves by Lu Lucas Meek beating his defender to the end line where he's gotten a lot of joy getting to that end line, just hasn't quite produced the ball to be finished off there by a teammate. Here is Crowley. Soto now. Soto comes right side for Casarienzi. Long ball switch for, by Kendall Burks to find Meek, who gets a nice flick on it there towards Rosales. End line still there and shielded out yet again there by Titus Nixon. Goal kick. As we'll have our first few substitutes of the game here for both teams. For Washington, off comes Nick Scardina.
and a first chance for Washington fans this season to see Gio Miglietti. Five goals, two assists last season. The big center forward. Miglietti started all but one match in 2019. As Meek comes all the way back. As Miglietti looks to get his first touch on the ball, the long ball cleared away there by Murphy. Dylan Murphy, a uh, senior from Seattle. Transfer from Highline and center back there for the Eagles. Huskies continue to keep it with Ostrom. Kendall Burks. Burks finds Rosales. Good right-footed low ball in from Rosales. And Miglietti had his hands out, out with a little bit of a half-hearted appeal for a penalty as he couldn't quite get his first touch out from under him. Nothing doing as the Huskies do get it back, though. Crowley, left side. Cross comes in with the right. Two headers away by the Eagles. Just out to the top of the box for Soto, who is fouled. Free kick in a dangerous position right at the top of the D for Washington. And it'll be interesting to see if we see Rosales or Charlie Ostrom over this one. This could be in shooting range for the Huskies just around that 20-yard football line. And both are over this, Rosales and Ostrom. They talk it over. Whistle goes. It'll be Ostrom left-footed in a good save there. It may have been going wide anyway, but Theohoff wasn't going to take any chances. Corner kick, Huskies. And it'll be Ostrom over to the far side again to take this one. Huskies have looked real dangerous on set pieces. Of course, getting their second goal off of one. Left-footed swung ball flicked on, and it deflected off, I believe, Murphy as the Eagles try to go the other way here. That is profit and it's out for a Husky throw. It was another free header there for the Huskies. As Soto picks it up deep in midfield. Soto, Rosales and Soto again. Burke swinging it all the way wide towards Crowley, who is, in fact, there. Playing a little deeper Crowley. Miglietti wants that ball over the top. Soto elects to go back to Kendall Burks. Soto all the way back to give Sam Fowler something to do. Side here, Ostrom, his cross deflected away only as far as Rosales. Still Rosales, nice strength to hold off his man. Still with it, and a shot comes in. And blocked by the Eagles defense yet again. Burks across there to handle that ball coming wide as Profit tried to go the other way. Left side. Meek, one touch pass is a really good one, but intercepted again there by Dylan Murphy. Well, we mentioned being mistake-free on the defensive end for the Eagles. 
neither goal could really be c called that much of a miscue. A second ball not dealt with, of course, and the marking may be a little bit light, but they've dealt with the balls that they need to deal with and uh, been fairly solid on that end. The center backs, particularly in uh, Dylan Murphy and Titus Nixon as a substitution. And after a fairly active first 38, Christian Soto will take a seat. Long throw coming again. Dangerous ball in there. Sailor gets ahead on it and then headed a second time and headed a third time off the post. Well, we talked about being mistake free on the defensive end for the Eagles. Three Huskies able to get ahead on that ball with markers not picking them up. Unlucky to see that one go off the woodwork for the second time for the men in the black jerseys. The heads go up and a long ball there. Dealt with by Nixon. In the middle, battling for it in the Eagles is Tano Toscano. Nixon again. Clearing off of Miglietti. Throw in Eagles as we reach the 40 minute mark here at Husky Stadium. Beautiful night for soccer, not a drop of rain so far. And we're in Seattle. Hopefully I don't give the commentators curse, but beautiful night for soccer here. Chilly February night as a left-footed drive comes in off the crossbar. A third save by the woodwork as Theohoff might have to kiss that post at halftime. Crowley, still there, right-footed effort is just wide. That was Charlie Ostrom getting forward and uncorking with the right. Goal kick. Ostrom loses possession. Whistle blows, it will be a foul. And we mentioned the Huskies being impressive in non-conference play. More so in season openers. They've won their last three season opening matches, eight of its last nine. They've only allowed multiple goals in one of those nine. That was the Lone loss in 2016 to Utah Valley, a 2-1 defeat. Set piece opportunity again, left footed ball outswung, headed away, and that is gonna be a foul there. Free kick first of the game for the Eagles. I want to say that was Tyler Smith, number 12, with the foul. All the way back to Fowler for the Huskies. Long ball played by Ostrom. Here's Meek. Tries to play it over the top there for Miglietti, who might get there, almost does. And again, well shielded by Nixon, throwing some, showing some impressive strength so far at center back here for Northwest.
We mentioned next up for Washington, they'll get Gonzaga, a little in-state rivalry action. The non-conference schedule for the Huskies, as we'll get back to that in a minute, a chance here for Soto, and it's cleared away in another corner for Washington. The in-state the in flavor and the Pacific Northwest flavor is certainly there in the non-conference schedule for Washington. It is a shortened non-conference slate uh, due to the quirkiness of 2021. They get Gonzaga on Sunday. They'll travel to Seattle Pacific. Travel is a, uh, a delicate term there. J head down the road to Seattle Pacific. As the corner is still there, played around with and pinballed. And another corner for Washington. And then they'll finish off their non-conference slate at Portland on the 14th of February as the Huskies threatening again from the corner. It's Ostrom over it with the left foot. As our official has something to say for a little bit of extracurriculars there in the box. Left-footed service into the area. A flicked header over the bar and through the football uprights. As a goal kick for Alex, Alexander Theohoff for the Eagles goes long. Flicked on there by Corwin and won by the Huskies. Long ball and they're going to get there. Chance here for a third and just held a little too long. It'll be a corner anyway. But the ball over the top found Soto in on goal. They get over quick for a corner. Left footed service from Ostrom again. Ball in is a good one. Flicked on header. Oh, he was free in the middle of the box. That was Ryan Saylor. Nobody picked him up as that will draw our first half of college soccer in 2021. Welcome back to Husky Stadium here as the Washington Huskies men's soccer team holds a 2-0 lead over the Northwest University Eagles. Truthfully, it could have been more as the Huskies rang the woodwork three times and forced a pretty incredible double save out of Eagles goalkeeper Alexander Theohoff. We are underway for the second half of our 2021 season opener. As the Huskies come right back down, putting the pressure on the Eagles. That was Meek. Left side here. Is Ostrom's throw and now... Ryan Saylor, who nearly, nearly put the Huskies up 3-0 at the end of the half there with a wide open header. He comes wide to Smith. That's Tyler Smith, a senior out of Spokane. Ostrom plays it down the line. Couldn't quite find Lucas Meek. As the second half goes, we may get a chance to see some of the newcomers for the Huskies. As we mentioned, it's a young team, 12 freshmen on this roster, eight of those true freshmen. We have uh, Kalani Kosorienzi starting tonight at right back and has uh, had a very respectable shift there. We've mentioned plenty about the sophomore class of, with Sam Fowler. Christian Soto, Imanol Rosales, Nick Scardina got the start tonight as well. That class also includes Michael Rojas, redshirt sophomore. And Jason Baca as the end line there. Meek, ball in, still there. Chance for the Huskies again, and it's off the bar again. Oh, that close to a third as the woodwork comes to Alexander Theohoff's Rescue yet again as offside is whistled there. Meek did well to get to the end line there. And he squared it back. Theohoff couldn't quite hold on to it. And another chance for the Huskies. Goes begging off the medal. Headed away there to Smith. And now Kendall Burks goes wide. Here's Kalani, Casarienzi. Big switch all the way to the captain, Ryan Saylor. 
at least one of our captains tonight for the Huskies. A sailor steps in there well. Nixon couldn't quite deal with it there, and it's won well there by Miglietti. Good pressure there put on by Miglietti. Gio, the junior from Hawthorne, California. Who didn't start tonight, was always a goal-dangerous presence in the box. Another long throw in here has been a very dangerous weapon for the Huskies so far tonight. It'll come in from, I believe, Charlie Ostrom. Ostrom's ball flicked on at the near post and headed away there. Hahn couldn't quite get to it, and it's still there for the Huskies. Bounces around, up in the air, and Theoff will be able to see that out for a goal kick. The Huskies starting the second half like they ended the first. Putting pressure on the Eagles, who made the quick trip over from Kirkland. We mentioned the Pacific Northwest flavor in that non-conference schedule for the Huskies. The Eagles will also get a crack at Seattle Pacific on Saturday. Quick turnaround for them as the Huskies recycle possession here with Meek. That's going to be Ryan Saylor there. Comes all the way back for Fowler, who hasn't had to make a save yet tonight. Ball sprayed all the way wide for Ostrom. And he'll come inside and find Soto. Score of the first goal tonight. Ball headed away there, and Hahn in possession for the Eagles. Well won there by Rosales. Played in, chance here on the right. Chipped ball across and headed in, but the flag is up. It won't count. It was a good ball in and a great headed finish, but the flag was up all the way. For offside from on Nick Scardina. The artificial crowd noise hit a fever pitch, but it was short lived. As a gr again, a great cross and finish, but Scardina just offside on the ball in from Rosales. Eagles in possession here. Now long left side for Misic. Nifty little turn to get away, and it does go out of bounds. Quick throw by Misic. He finds Profit, Noah Profit, and that ball will be out for a goal kick. Well defended there by Burks. Sailor comes left side, Ostrom. Meek has been dangerous all night, but hasn't got on the scoreboard yet. His cross headed away by Nixon, corner, Washington. In front of what would be the Husky football student section. And it'll be Ostrom to swing it in with the left. Out swinging corners. A good ball flicked on at the near post. And just wide. Another good chance off a set piece for Washington. They have been dangerous there. And that'll be a weapon that'll really benefit them when they get into the meat of the schedule. After their, non, their short non-conference slate, they will open Pac-12 play with a Northwest, another Northwest rival. That's Oregon State. That game is February 20th at 5 p.m. As they come right back down the right side. Good cross in. Near post flicked on. And it is a third for Washington. And the entire sideline. Rushing to the corner to celebrate that one. Great cross in from the right side. And a little deft touch there to finish it off.
And it looks like Nick Scardina, the sophomore midfielder from Portland, taking the accolades there. Three nil Huskies. Scardina with a great run in there. The ball even better. The cross from the right side. The Huskies have had so much joy on those balls across so far today. Scardina last season, only 71 minutes played with a single shot on goal. That really may explain a lot of why you saw the entire Husky sideline rushing to celebrate that goal in the far corner. Scardina getting the start tonight and playing really well on that right side. as the Eagles have made a substitution here. Goalkeeper Brandon Carberg is in for his first action. Soto going the other way. Tried to play the release ball and does find Scardina. His ball over the top towards Miglietti. Gio just a little bit too far. And Carberg collects for his first action. Carberg, a redshirt junior from Columbia Falls, Montana. Borman, far side for the Eagles, tried to play it long and dealt with by Burks. Ryan Saylor. Left side, Meeks. Another good left-footed ball in low, not dealt with until it did fall to Nixon and he was able to clear. Misick Comes all the way wide. And possession given up again, but one back there by Corwin, Braden Corwin. Freshman from Snohomish. Plenty of Northwest connections here tonight. Both rosters heavily, heavily local, particularly the Northwest University Eagles. Of course, the Huskies with a reputation of developing local talent. Plenty of Seattle Sounders Academy players coming through the University of Washington ranks. Hanwala Buana, Henry Wingo come to mind, all of which who have made the jump to the Seattle Sounders first team. The Huskies in general, plenty of MLS talent coming from this program, the most notable of which, at least for Seattle area fans, might be Christian Roldan, a mainstay for the Sounders in central midfield. Of course, a standout here at University of Washington, originally from California. And as we mentioned, Spencer Ritchie, back in Seattle this week, goalkeeper for the Huskies, traded from, or free agent, excuse me, from Cincinnati, Former Husky goalkeeper, first the fr the freshman before Sam Fowler to start in goal. Meek, another Seattle area player from Mercer Island, comes wide, and that was Alstrom on the cross, and it's deflected out for a corner. You look down these rosters: Meek from Mercer Island, Sam Fowler, of course, from Issaquah. Ostrom over it from Shorewood High School up in Shoreline. And he will outswing this corner with the left foot. Back post. Shot comes in just over the bar. Again, another ball. Took a bounce or two in the 18 and a chance for the Huskies, but just got under it. As the Eagles will make a substitution. And out comes Braden Corwin.
Goal kick won by the Huskies. Threw Fowler well off his line to deal with the danger there. That's Dylan Tevez chasing down the Eagles. They try to play in Misich, who gets away with one. No, he doesn't. The foul called Misich getting in and looking for the Eagles' first shot on goal, but the foul through. As we mentioned, Dylan Tevez, junior from Kalua, Hawaii, returns after a goal and eight assists last season at All Pac 12 honoree up top. As Meek left side, that's a good cross, flicked on! Oh, another for the Huskies! And it's becoming easier and easier to recognize the bright red boots of Nick Scardina. Second of the evening for the sophomore. And again, it comes off service from the wide areas. This time, Meek with a left-footed cross. Scardina getting in there, throwing his head right amongst the defender's boots and flicking it onto the back post. And Scardina, after no goals in his freshman season, and as we mentioned, 71 minutes of playing time, a brace tonight in the Huskies 2021 season opener. As the Eagles turn it over there, here they come again and cleared. Missick couldn't quite, Missick couldn't quite control it. And it's a throw again for Charlie Ostrom. Sailor will swing wide for Kendall Burks. And Burks. Another local Pacific Northwest talent from Tacoma Stadium High School. Burks comes all the way wide for Soto. Soto drives, still with it, Soto. That was Ostrom, excuse me. And the Eagles unable to get out of pressure on the ground, but they do win a throw. Flicked on there by Toscano. Huskies win it back. Meek looking to serve in another dangerous ball with that left. Cuts inside. Shimmies to the, to the left. And defended well. Out for a throw in. And Ostrom again on cue over to take it. It'll be another long throw. And the big bodies come forward again for the Huskies. As we mentioned, this is something the Huskies did really well last year, and they're definitely continuing to do it tonight. It's another kind of set piece as it's flicked away. Missick trying to get out of trouble. Still with it, Missick, and he will play it up the line. Huskies win it back. Ostrom, his pass was cut out there by Toscano. Throw in comes. Meek chests it down to Soto, who tried to play it in on the volley. Couldn't quite. He wins it back. Ball wide here, a good ball and the finish not quite right, but Ostrom on the back post, his left footed shot was saved there by Carberg. It was a great ball across from Nick Scardina who suddenly is on fire in this game. Came all the way through to Ostrom, couldn't quite put it in the top corner, but he will have another chance to swing in a corner. Plenty of subs readying themselves for the Huskies on the far side as Ostrom outswings this one. That one is the first real miscue the Huskies have had on a set piece tonight. And here comes Northwest the other way. With the right back, Meyer. 
Excuse me, the right back, Seidenberg. Outside it comes. And Toscano. There is Scardina. Scardina beats one. Scardina shot to the far post. It's a hat trick. Nick Scardina. Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a breakout performance from the sophomore from Portland. First three collegiate goals for Nick Scardina. And that one, a bit of individual brilliance. The Huskies with a heads up play to take that free kick quickly, play it down the line for Scardina, who did wonderfully well to beat his defender and slot it into the far post. It is 5-0 Huskies. And now here come the subs. We've got plenty of new faces to tell you all about. The Eagles making a couple changes as well. And Nick Scardino will take a seat after that hat trick. As will, I see Sam Fowler on the far side. We've made a change in goal. Looks like Andrew Morrison, the redshirt junior from Houston, in goal for the Huskies. Plenty of new faces to tell you about as we continue with the game here. Huskies swing it. Comes all the way to Jones. That's Nate Jones, the freshman from Gig Harbor. Smith. Ball over the top is another good one. Header, but the flag was up that time. Long ball there from Nixon. And dealt with. It's a new center back pairing for the Huskies as Jones. Ewan Clark is in there as well at center midfield. The redshirt freshman from California. Granite Bay. We've got Michael Rojas here to take the throw in. Rojas, another young gun for the Huskies. Redshirt sophomore from Othello, Washington, on the east side. Flicked on Rosales back in, and the long ball is easily dealt with there by Brandon Carberg. As Carberg will play this one long. Jones stepping up, but it is Rojas who wins it. Wide, far side for Borman. Now swinging it is the Eagles. Given away nearly there as the Husky pressure almost paid off, and it does now. Stepping in there with Smith. Long ball dealt with there by Rojas. Comes inside and they lose possession, the Huskies. A rare occasion tonight in their final third, but they do lose possession and gain it right back. Huskies will swing it again, Jones. All the way to Tyler Smith. Rojas. Up in the air, still there. N nice little flick, but doesn't quite come off. Huskies keep possession. Rojas give and go. Back to him. Plays it over the top. And the referee did play advantage after that foul, but now whistles it back. Foul has 
Noah Prophet went in hard on Tyler Smith, the senior. And it's going to be Rosales with the right foot over this free kick. Another dangerous position for the Huskies to whip in a set piece. Rosales swings it. Acrobatic effort doesn't quite come off. Second header is cleared by Nixon. And now the Eagles go the other way. And Hop was mobbed on the near side there. Couldn't quite get anything off. He'll try to play it through the middle towards Profit. Jones defending and does well to dispossess him. They come back wide to the near side, Rojas. Rosales. Working on his defender, now plays it wide to Gio. Miglietti still there. Tackle came in and he got the ball. A second tackle came in hard. And our official says he got the ball as well. Tough defending there from the Eagles. Jones comes wide, Rosales. So now swings it. And all the way wide for Smith again. Right-footed cross high up in the air. Nobody could quite get there before it went out of play. Goal kick, Eagles. Huskies moving it around. Clark all the way back. Wide. It's Rosales, who's in a more of a wide position than he was to start the game. His right-footed switch to the far side just a little too far. For I believe that's Gabe Threadgold, redshirt freshman, on the right side. Possession given away by the Eagles. Rojas now tried to beat his defender, but Nixon was having none of it there. Huskies rolling as Rojas left footed ball is dealt with by the Eagles, but only as far as the top of the 18, they finally do get it out. And now Smith, right foot comes inside, ball wide, go, good ball movement by the Huskies and just the finishing touch lacking there. As the ball's still there and cleared only as far as the middle of the six. Oh, that was Rosales with a golden opportunity and Carberg made a save. Nobody quite knew what to do with it. And the Huskies were first to it and were able to whip a ball back across, but Carberg making a great save. Rosales right on the doorstep. Corner swung out, free header is another Husky goal! And Gio is in on the action! Miglietti gets his head to it. Again, unmarked in the six. Able to flick it to the back post and make it six nil Washington. And Gio adding to his sophomore campaign of five goals and two assists, 
Starting 2021 off with a bang. It was great service there from Rosales. And the Huskies again dangerous on set pieces, whether it's long throws, free kicks, or corners tonight. They've really done everything right on restarts. Miglietti, who was given the captain's armband when Lucas Meek sat, took to, took to the bench. As the Huskies attacking yet again, they swing it all the way back towards Jones. Jones at center back tried to play away and it's given away. It'll be a throw-in for the Eagles as Hop tried to get away on the counter. And Rojas came across well to defend. Well, it's not just set pieces tonight. It's uh, from the wide areas. The Huskies have really, really looked to attack the Eagles with crosses and less build up through the middle really getting the big bodies in there and attacking the ball. And they've been successful, whether it's from open play or set pieces. As it was Miglietti, the latest to get in on the fun. Good step there by Threadgold. Throw in Eagles. Huskies establishing possession again. Jones. Jones keeps it and swings it. Given away there towards the Eagles, but they couldn't quite come back the other way on the counterattack. They will get the foul and a free kick and a chance to whip it into the box here. They have yet to register a shot on goal tonight. Looking to trouble Andrew Morrison this time. Over it is Dylan Murphy. Murphy's chipped ball in. Still there. And cleared away by the Husky defense. Chance to break for Washington. Here's Rosales. Rojas. Swings it all the way. Tyler Smith. Smith keeps it and now tries to find Rojas, but it's Nixon across to shield that ball out. Nixon, a focal point for the Eagles in that central defense, and he has really reinforced that tonight. The graduate student from Numan, Nigeria, Sheridan Community College transfer. Takes the free kick here for the Eagles. It's out of bounds. As we'll get another Husky substitution. Taking a seat, that's Gio Miglietti. And a debut for another freshman, Scott Gustafson from Ashland, Oregon. Huskies getting a chance tonight to stretch the bench a little bit and see what their depth can do. As you need an entire roster to be solid to get through a season in the Pac-12, even if it is a bit abbreviated compared to usual years. Given away there, away there by Jones. And now Han the other way, turning and mobbed in the middle there. He does get it off to Nixon. Cleared away well by Jones. They come wide here. First touch of the game for Gustafson. Gustafson still with it. Tried to find Rosales who couldn't quite stay on his feet. He did get it off. And it's still there for the Huskies. And cleared by Nixon. Only as far as Washington. A long shot is saved. Tipped wide by Brandon Carberg. From distance.
Harburg making a second big save since checking into this game. Corner for Washington. Out swung corner, chance here again for the Huskies and the header went wide, goal kick. Well, we mentioned the Huskies haven't played a competitive match before today since December 7th, 2019. It's been even longer for the Eagles. They last played 64 weeks ago, November 12th, 2019. And it was always going to be a tall task for the NAIA Eagles, but a real, real stiff test for Northwest heading into their Cascade Collegiate Conference season. As the Huskies keep it in play here, Hahn. And given away by Washington. Throw in for Northwest. Kyle Hahn, one of those taking a seat for the Eagles. Led the team in assists last season. Well, chipping in with five goals despite missing much of the early season. The captain for the Eagles has had a pretty solid night for in the middle of midfield there, keeping possession for Northwest. He takes a seat. One back there, thread gold and free kick. Huskies taken quickly. Jones. Jones will go long left side. Cleared away. No, it's out for a throw. Here is Smith. Comes all the way back. And Jones, the freshman, swings it. Gustafson right side. Making a real nice run here. On the right side, the Huskies attacking again from the outside areas. It's a good ball in. Back post chance. And Rojas just couldn't quite keep it down. The red shirt sophomore up from left back with a golden opportunity for seven. Just popped it over the bar. Forward by Jones. High up in the air and flicked away well, Nixon. Rojas. Jones again. Smith. Good possession from the Huskies now. Smith again. Comes wide, thread gold, couldn't quite control it. And Nixon controls, plays it off a thread gold for a throw northwest. Northwest Tyler Seidenberg returns for Northwest. And Titus Nixon will take a seat. And checking in for the Huskies, Jack McGuire at forward, a freshman. from Sacramento. Jones, and now Ewan Clark swings it all the way back. Jones again has moved out to left back. Gustafson comes all the way wide here. 
And played across, nice little flicked pass there. Took a deflection and cleared away by Northwest, Seidenberg. Eighty minutes gone here at Husky Stadium. Washington leading 6-0. And it could have been more had they not rang the woodwork four times and some spectacular goalkeeping from both men between the posts for Northwest and Alexander Theohoff and Brandon Carberg. Dangerous position for a free kick for the Huskies. Two over it, Jason Baca. One of them with the right foot. It will be Baca. He'll go for goal, and it's saved there by Carberg down to his left. And keeps a hold of it. Big throw right side. Huskies win it back and cleared again. Out on the side. The Huskies won't really leave the Pacific Northwest until February 27th when they travel to Cal in Berkeley for their second Pac-12 game. Eagles left-footed cross comes in. Nobody there to meet it and headed away by Jones. Threadgold still with it. Gabe Threadgold. He goes wide here. Rojas comes inside. Rojas the other way. Now still Rojas hands it off Threadgold. He will swing it to the right side. Huskies moving it side to side. And just that move got just broken up there as the Eagles are able to clear. Jones. Jack McGuire swung it all the way right, and now Gustafson. Scott Gustafson, the freshman, dribbling and takes it inside now. Comes all the way back. Clark swings it. Jones on the left. That's McGuire. Jones again. Opportunity to swing in a left-footed cross. It was there for Gustafson, but cleared away. And the foul whistled there against the Huskies. Free kick and a chance to relieve the pressure for Northwest. Huskies return to action on Sunday at 2 o'clock, Sunday, February 7th. From Husky Soccer Field, live stream right here, same spot for that in-state matchup against the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Gustafson turns and swings it right side. Big ball wide for Rojas, brought down nicely. Right side, Gustafson, one-time pass intercepted there by the Eagles' defense. But one right back there by Smith. The senior plays it over the top and headed away. Still there and tracks it down to clear it out for a throw. And a chance for another... Long throw here for the Huskies as they wait to get bodies forward. Into the area, flicked on, still hanging up there, and easy enough for Brandon Carberg. Came right side. Tyler Hopp couldn't quite do anything with it, and the Huskies will get it back. Jones plays it inside, keeps his run going. Jones still going, and now Threadgold cuts inside. Jones, give and go, comes left to Rojas. 
His cross comes in, couldn't quite get a foot on it there, the Huskies, and cleared away. As Northwest looking to counter. Here's Hop. Touch got away from him, and good defense. It will be a throw for the Eagles. Well, not only was Nick Scardina's hat trick tonight his first three collegiate goals, in fact, it's the first time a Washington player has recorded a hat trick since Scott Menzies' performance against Santa Clara back in 2017. So, Scardina, the sophomore joining Elite Company, is a foul there from. Profit as the Huskies will get a free kick in their own half. Jones left side. His cross comes in. Just missed everybody. Two Huskies attacking that one. Couldn't quite get their heads on it. And it's all the way out on the far side for a throw for Northwest. Washington, as we mentioned, picked in the coach's poll to win the Pac-12, but only by a vote. It'll be quite a showdown when the Huskies take on the Stanford Cardinal for the first time on March 20th right here in Seattle. They'll play each Pac-12 opponent twice. That's UCLA, Oregon State, Stanford, Cal, and San Diego State joins the Pac-12 for men's soccer as well. The Huskies finished fourth in the United Soccer Coaches top 25 poll last season. Of course, only being held by Georgetown, the number two team in the nation who ended up winning it all. But it speaks to what Jamie Clark has really done with this program that they expect even more. They expect to be a national contender every single year here on Montlake. As their 26 tournament appearances Many, uh, they have really gotten more consistent in his tenure. Free kick at midfield, Eagles. They go right side, Seidenberg. Right-footed early cross dealt with easily by the Huskies. Gustafson. Saito Gao, midfield there for the Eagles. Huskies get it back. Near side, Jones. Jones again. Now Rojas. Tackle came in. It was a stiff one and a foul from Denis Kozorozov. And this time, it will be Nate Jones over the free kick. And the Huskies will get number four, numbers forward here. High arcing ball by Jones. Just missed it was Gustafson. Nearly found it at the back post there. Couldn't quite get up high enough to head it home. Goes all the way through. Did indeed go out for a goal kick. As we mentioned for the Eagles, they stay local with a 4 o'clock kickoff at Seattle Pacific. As they then travel to the College of Idaho in Caldwell on February 20th.
dispossessed there as Threadgold gets it back for the Huskies. Ball through towards Gustafson all the way to Brandon Carberg. But a good chance tonight for the Huskies to get something out of everybody and prepare for a 2021 season where they look to defend a Pac-12 title and look to win their fourth Pac-12 title and hopefully another NCAA tournament appearance. General as we come to an end here, the Huskies start off the 2021 season with a 6-0 